Saturn with moon. I always say one thing. See, Saturn with moon generally, you see, the person stays somewhere in past because Saturn indicates sad, sadness. So when Saturn is with moon, some shock in life have happened. And that shock impacts the native a lot. Like someone breaks the trust and the native is not able to trust ever again in life. Such great mental shock disturbs the native a lot when moon is influenced by Saturn. So either Saturn is with moon, Saturn 11th to moon, Saturn 4th to moon, Saturn 7th to moon. In all of these cases, Saturn will be influencing the moon. A great shock will be there in past and the native will not be able to recover that shock. Always will always suffer the repercussions of the shock. That is one thing. Secondarily, I have seen moon being influenced by Saturn person generally goes through a failed relationship where they admire the partner a lot, but partner, you know, leaves them. But the person wants to find that partner in every relationship, particularly in their marriage, which is the particular reason for the failure of their marriage, because they want to find their boyfriend and their husband or their girlfriend and their wife. That's the problem. This is something that the native should control. And because Saturn indicates melancholy, sadness, etc. When Saturn is connected to moon, the native is generally very sad, lives in melancholy and any effort of spouse to cheer up the native, etc. is generally futile. Right? Because their approach towards life is a negative approach. I believe their spouses should understand it and you should leave them on their condition. Just do not try to make their mood good. Do things for them, love them, care for them, but just don't, you know, just don't try to, you see, make them happy or cheerful because that they cannot be altogether. If Saturn is influencing moon in all the three divisional charts, D1, D3, D9, then it is a combination for sannyas asceticism. The person is given to asceticism, the person is a sannyasi, the person is a spiritual aspirant, that's the best result. In the case of bad result where the moon or Saturn is afflicted, the sannyas combination is there, but the person do not want to get into sannyas, person want to get married, etc. But because of sannyas yoga, marriage will be delayed. Multiple times marriage will be denied. And in the case where the marriage will not be denied, it will be delayed a lot. And even after getting married, person will not get any happiness of marital life because of the sannyas yoga. So person will either live like sannyasi or will be forced to live like a sannyasi. When Moon is influenced by Saturn, either by a structure of conjunction in all the three divisional charts, D1, D3, and D9. Apart from that, when Saturn is with moon, one walks slowly, one is firm in their decision, others will fear the native. The native will not have any mercy. Native will live, uh, short life is there. Native is generally diseased. Native do not have much wealth. Native have very few family members and supporters, right? Family members, other family members are either separated or not there. There are not many people who support the natives. Saturn in second house from moon will make Sunfa Yoga. Because of which if the person engages in professions related to Saturn self-employment, giving services to others, etc., then the native will be very rich and successful. Apart from that, Saturn being a malefic planet, generally malefic planets in Sunufa Yoga does not give much wealth. So moderate wealth, I will say. But engaging in a profession related to Saturn will make the native very wealthy. Apart from that, Saturn in second house from moon, the, it is problematic to the father of the native. So father suffers losses and other troubles, diseases, etc. in their life. It also gives troubles and diseases and troubles and diseases and other problems to mother as well. If the Saturn in second house from moon is very afflicted, then the native can be forsaken by mother, father and other family members as well. Saturn in third house from moon, native will have many daughters and the children will suffer much in their life because of which in old age, they will not be much helpful to the native as such. Saturn in fourth house from moon, native will destroy his enemies and will live happily, will be very successful in court case litigations and competition the native will be highly industrious as well. Saturn in fifth house from moon, native is a businessman, does good in business. The spouse will be sweet spoken, but the spouse will have dark complexion. Native himself will also have dark complexion. Saturn in sixth house from moon, native will have many miseries, short life, diseased life, will have disputes, fights and litigations. 
in life and there will be much turbulence in life nothing will be fixed nothing will be dependable in the life of the native saturn in seventh house from moon the native will be very rich the native will be a philanthropist but will have multiple partners and the native will be religious as well will pursue spirituality as well saturn in eighth house from moon native will have many partners and all of these different partners will be beautiful native will have extra marital affair as well both in the case of 7000 8th house in the case of 7000 native extra marital affair and is spiritual also not dharmic right dharma and spiritual are two things dharma tells you not to have more than one partner but generally kali yuga even a spiritual people they have gone to great lengths right saturn in the 8th house the mind of the native is given to fight so native is always fighting quarreling always finding ways to fight complaints there will be problems in body diseases etc there will be troubles to the father and the native will gain prosperity by giving liberal donations so only by donating and other things by this good karmas native can expect of riches otherwise it indicates financial difficulties saturn in ninth house from moon person follows the dharma person speaks truth person is philanthropist person is clever person will enjoy his life however during saturn dasha antar dasha he will lose faith in his religion will become an atheist will follow religion of others saturn in 10th house from moon because saturn indicates servants if you work with your employees right like in your employees if someone is very well qualified and a good person you can consider going in a partnership with them or saturn also indicates children apart from jupiter indicates children saturn also indicates children in gemini astrology so saturn in 10th from moon you can also do some professional pursuit with your children as well or with your trusted employee you can form a partnership as well apart from that saturn in 10th house from moon the native will be equal to a king native will be miser will not want to spend money native will be very rich but native will be thrifty saturn in 11th house from moon there will be diseases in body the native will be a great donator native will know about multiple things have vast knowledge and intelligence in life will have a long life will have comfortable life will have multiple resources and multiple means saturn in 12th house from moon it will make sunvayu uh, anvayu because of the sanfa yoga native will come from a rich family native will be famous but himself will not do well financially generally native will be able to do things in life only because of mercy of others and all of this result is generally because the native is not following his dharma if the native starts following his dharma then he can change these things for better 